first off, all the stuff that I have bought. First day's event. Hey guys, this is Jess Moses and today I'm bringing you my third update on my fish tank, my Reef Aquarium Nano Tank that's uh, 40 gallons. Uh, probably could have said it easier, it's my 40 gallon Nano Tank. Um, today I am revamping my sump. It is a damn disaster. So let's go ahead and get into that guys. So this is all the stuff I'm going with. Um, this is like a PVC plastic um, mesh thing that they use for like sewing. Um, this is the material I'll be using to to like kind of like a make a basket for my my filter media. Um, all I also use is this and some zip ties. I don't have the zip ties on the table right now, but and then my clamps. This is gonna be for like cable management underneath my my sump. These are the screws I'm gonna be using to to screw them in place. This is gonna be for my actual. Um, I'm gonna be using this to kind of like hook in my my red light for my my macro algae so let's see how I'm gonna have to see how that goes like this is the best thing I solution I can think of for that um, this is gonna be my digital timer for that red light um, I haven't really been like none of my stuff in my sump is is solid uh, it's most of it's manually done I do a lot of work in there uh, I'm just tired of it being a mess so hopefully this stuff helps me out and I'm going with another surge protector uh, I'm actually going to mount these inside of the uh, the, t uh, the stand itself. So, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now I'm going to show you everything that I have done. Um, so you can see here, my sump is a freaking disaster. So you know, figured I was going to go ahead and try to revamp this and make this a little cleaner. Um, this area is just not not as neat neatly organized as I, I wanted it to be. Um, I have some things I want to do for the slump and, and for my filter media and stuff like that, so. So we'll go from this to this. So this is exactly what I wanted to do. I have more cord management. Everything's organized better. I've used some clip, these clips like I showed earlier. Um, I've organized my whole current USA setup over here. I've mounted my, my red light for my Chato, which for my refugium here. Alexa, turn on the skimmer. Okay. I forgot to turn my skimmer on. Um, I've opened this up. This used to have, um, I used to keep a lid on here. Um, to be honest with you, it's kind of stupid to have a lid on it. It's supposed to be for, for being able to easy access. Um, so this helps me with the easy access part of it. Um, so now you can, it's a little more open. You can actually see how this works. The water comes in here, flows over top of here through this sponge, it goes underneath this wall here, right here, and then up and over into the refugium. So it gets filtered twice from the sponges. And then I actually made, this is new, this is something that I recently made, and uh, I, think, I think I actually saw this from uh, watching Billy Pipes. Uh, so if, if you're curious on how to make baskets like this, just check him out. 
Um, all it took is some some of that sewing mesh plastic and some zip ties. I basically just zip tied this together and make like a little basket. I now put this into my divider here and I put in some sponges on the bottom and then I put um, some filter floss on the top to try to help filter out the uh, the actual debris and stuff. So this is my update on this. I'm really really digging how much cleaner this looks. It just I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. So this is awesome. So guys, this is going to be it for the video. I uh, appreciate you guys checking me out. If you liked the video, give me a nice little sub. Give me that thumbs up, you know. Um, give me some tips and tricks. Um, hopefully some of my stuff has, has motivated you to do some things as well. So that's what I like doing this for, is kind of like the mingle amongst reefers. Um, so I appreciate you guys checking me out. Peace.